In this project, we will simulate the external airflow uh, around a moving train. Advanced moving train aerodynamic design is an effective factor in reducing energy consumption. This reduction is possible when the drag force exerted from the fluid is decreased. Therefore, aerodynamics plays an important role in the design of trains or any moving object that is exposed to airflow. Computational fluid dynamic simulations have reduced the cost of building trains and locomotives and have made it possible to check the efficiency of the new design before construction. In this project, the airflow around the train is investigated and the airflow parameters were extracted. Due to the high speed of the train and the speed of airflow, phenomena such as separation or vortexes occur behind the train. Therefore, to better analyze the turbulent flow, a standard k epsilon model with the use of the standard ball function is exploited. The geometry of this project consists of a model train and a fluid domain. The geometry is designed in Gambit software. The geometry is also meshed in Gambit software and uh, the mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured and element number is equal to 1,013,277. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, a new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also, under the view link, View length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluid software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. Now in the appear window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. Now there are several assumptions made in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is said to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Uh, also the velocity formulation is taken to be in absolute form. Uh, about the time study we have selected the steady time study since we want our results to not be as a function of time. After double clicking on the viscose button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you will see that uh, we have chosen two equations, a standard k epsilon to solve for our fluid flow. The standard k epsilon model is one of the most renowned model for solving the turbulent fluid flows. And actually, two equation k epsilon model allows the determination of both a turbulent length scale and time scale by solving two separate transport equations. After clicking on the inlet boundary, uh, which is placed on the right side of the geometry, as you can see in this window, you will see that the type of this boundary is set to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit, uh, a new window will open uh, in which you can change the settings for this boundary. In the appeared window, you can see that the airflow enters the computational domain with the velocity magnitude of 22.22 meter per second. By clicking on the outlet boundary, you can see that the top of this boundary is set to be pressure out. Again, by clicking on edit, a new window will appear in which you can change the setting for this boundary. In the appear window, uh, in front of the gauge pressure section, you can see that zero gauge pressure has been defined for this boundary, which means that the airflow will exit 
the computational domain to atmosphere. As for the vol boundary condition, you can see that stationary vol motion and uh, no slip shear condition is defined for vol boundaries. As for the vol boundary condition, you can see that stationary vol motion and uh, no slip shear condition is defined for vol boundaries. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change the discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order advent and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. After clicking on the control button, a new window will appear in which you can see the under relaxation factor for different parameters. Now these values uh, are values which are between 0 and 1. Uh, now, based on the project and simulation you are doing and conducting, the software will automatically specify the optimized values for these parameters. Uh, although you can change them yourself too, but it is recommended not to change these values uh, since it may cause divergence or any other problems. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation, you are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. For example, in this project you can see that uh, a report of drag coefficient on the outer walls of the train is defined. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. After double clicking on the run calculation, a new window will appear. In the appear window under the parameter section, you are able to set the number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. Uh, after defining the number, by clicking on Calculate, the software will start the simulation process.
Now, in order to obtain and extract different contours in this project, you just have to right click on the contours button and then in the appear window under the contours of section, you uh, just have to select your desired variable. For example, uh, in this slide, we have selected the pressure variable and we want to see the pressure contour on surfaces uh, of the wall of the train. So we go ahead and select the wall under the wall section and then click on save or display. Now, as you can see in this contour, in the front section of the train where the airflow velocity has reached zero, the pressure has increased. Uh, now, in order to extract other contours, for example, the contours of velocity, you just have to change the variable. For example, we change the variable from pressure to velocity. And then again, under the surfaces section, we select the desired surface we want to see our contours on. And after that, by clicking on Save or Display button, the contour will be shown to you. In this velocity contour, you can easily see that in the front section of the train, the velocity has decreased. And uh, of course, in the rear section of the train, you can easily see that wakes has been produced. Now in order to see the path line and the streamlines on the outer ball of the train, you just have to right click on the path button and then click on new. After clicking on new, uh, a window will appear. In the appear window, you just have to select the surfaces you want to see the streamlines moving on. Uh, for example, we we'll click on train wall and after that by clicking on save or display button you can see the streamlines moving on the train wall. Now in order to see the velocity vectors in the middle plane of the geometry you just have to right click on vectors button and again by just like previous slides a new window will appear. In the appear window you again have to select the desired surfaces you want to see your velocity vector contour and by clicking on save or display button this type of contour will be shown to you. Now as you can see in this velocity vector contour as was mentioned in uh, velocity contour in previous slides you can see the wakes being produced in the rear section of the train. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project was presented to you in the slide. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.